Welcome to my channel Tune to Linux. In this video, I'm going to show you and uh, discuss about when accidentally if somebody remove your LVM or your file system, how to recover it, right? So this is a very good features which we have it in LVM uh, because, for example, in real time scenario your data is the key and it is most important uh, when you are uh, when uh, something is uh, using for example if you are running a database or some application production application and accidentally or someone has removed uh, remove your file system you will lose all your data and worst scenario if you do not have backup for this file system you are almost uh, fired right so how to get rid of it so there is one of uh, features in LVM through which we can recover your LVM and you will still have your data so I'm going to show you how to do that so first thing is your LVM so currently I have one LVM is around 12 MB of file system formatted and if I go inside this data directory I can see there are four files and now someone has remove it so to remove that I have to unmount it and someone has removed this LB and we remove uh, I I have seen one instance where um, one person he he was supposed to extend the file system, right? Extend the file system and he was into different vault maybe. Uh, he was a he was a he was a technical guy and he was well knowledge in Linux, but he did the mistake. So it can be an human or error also. So uh, if I remove it like this, I'll be remove, and it is just asking uh, whether I can remove the Actium LVM. So I have removed it, and now inside Mirror VG, I don't see any LVs. And also, if I do a VGS. I see this is a VG2 disk inside this VG and there is no LB right so how to recover so now when you create a LVM every time you create an LVM or if you do some changes in your LVM it will write some data in some location right regarding uh, the changes which you have done so there is something called metadata in LVM which will keep tracks of your file system and your LVM when it has created, when it has resized, what time, what is the size and other information. So those metadata for your LVM will located default in this location, so let's say to say LVM. So if I just go inside this location and if I do a lsfnl you will see one directory called backup i will tell you what is this directory for okay so here you can see uh, mirror vg information and also if i go to a metadata and here i cannot see any metadata right because there was one lvm which was there in inside this VG but now it got removed so the metadata information is not there right and also there is one directory called archive if you go inside this directory you would able to see some files here just do an lsfnlt here and you will see many files regarding mirror VG this is all mirror vg so those are the metadata files 
so and also the timings you would see this so on so time it all uh, those are modified and last it has modified on February 9 and if you want if you just do a more tell or less whatever it is you would see some information here that here it is given I have executed or somebody has executed a command LV remove this uh, LVM and this is so and so date and time and the other PV information inside uh, this LVM which was used so this is the metadata which is going to help us to restore my LVM right so now when I do LVS no LV there was one LV which is removed so to restore it what I will do there is one command called VG CFG um, backup First thing is this one VGCFG backup, right? So you can take the backup of your VG. So currently, when you run this command, it will default save the file here in LVM uh, backup directory. Okay, so this is the file, and it is not required to restore your LVM. I'm just showing you how to take the backup. So, the other command is VG CFG restore, right? So, when you do a VG CFG restore minus minus help to see those options, there is one option called list. I'm going to use that command minus minus list and my VG name, uh, my VG is mirror. VG. Okay, so when I run this command, it will give all the information from the date it has started, when it has created, till the recent one. The recent one is this. So after this, no changes has been done here. So this is the metadata which will require to restore your LV. Here you can see this is the command which is run here and you have to use this file so how do you restore it pg cfg restore minus f for file to specify the file which file you are going to use so I am going to use this location inside this location this is the file I am going to use and what is the vg name so here my vg name is mirror vg okay so once i run this command let me clear the screen and you can see restored volume group successfully and your uh, mirror vg your vg name so now if i do lvs mirror vg now i can see my lv is back and it is available here but currently it is not active so in order to active that what you can do you can just do a vg change minus a y vg name which is mirror vg it what it will do it will active all the lvs running under this vg so currently i have only one lv so it will active this one and the other way you can do lv change that is regards to lvm and you need to do the same thing mirror vg mirror vg mirror lv okay so when i active it and now if i check the status i can see it is active so now i have to open it and or i need to mount it so information is already there in slash etc fs tab I so I'm going to run this command mount hyphen a and now if I do hyphen if I do lvs now you can see it is also active and also open and if I do a df hyphen h 
I can see my file system is back right so the concern is data so whether I have the data or not so that is the main concern so now let me see whether I have the data and I can see my data is still there right so this is how you can save your back if you accidentally remove or something uh, nasty you have done in uh, accidentally in some LVM and you wanted to restore it back so this is how you can restore it okay so this is regarding the LVM restoration but how about the VG so how we can restore the VG so for restoring VG also it is same thing so I have taken a backup already so let me go to this directory and always keep uh, the backup file in some other location for example in temp let me copy this to temp because this will be vanished when I have removed my VG so let me remove my VG VG remove and um, okay, VG remove. Now, before that, let me see whether I have this file or not. Okay, I have this file. Good. So, let me remove it. VG remove. Mirror VG. So, it says mirror. Okay, so I given. So it is saying one it uh, of active LV and it is VG. It is because uh, it is mounted. So I need to unmount the file system first data. And now if I uh, remove it, VG remove active LV is fine. So my LV is removed. My VG is also removed. So now if I do a ls to see my backup file, I have, I don't have the backup file. So that is why I said that you have to take this backup file in some location, right? So I have kept it, uh, kept that file in slash temp. and uh, mirror vg just copy the line and create a file called mirror vg right so I have this file now and let me check VGS no VG VG CFG VG CFG restore and provide the file name is mirror VG right if I run this it will throw an uh, error because it will uh, I would need to give the uh, VG name so here it is saying specify a single volume group to restore so I need to specify the VG name as well so I will do mirror VG as, as well for my VG which was removed right so let me run this and sorry that is my spelling mistake here mirror vg fine so now you can see restored volume group mirror vg so my mirror vg is restored and let me try to see whether i have the vg or not and here is your vg so earlier when i run this command vgs it says no vg available but now it has come back so this is a really a uh, good thing 
regarding restoration of your files uh, LVM and also VG if you accident accidentally remove or something nasty happen on your LVM or NVG you can uh, divide it back and you can have your data back right so this is it guys for your uh, for this video this is regarding uh, the restoration of LVM and restoration of VG so please let me know if you have any doubts and uh, feel free to comment anything if you have uh, please write your doubts in my youtube comment section and also please subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video have a good day